Hello, everyone. Welcome to QNAP Live Show. I'm your host, Sam, for today's topic. And let's check on the topic today, introducing the newly TSX 53BE series. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is our new... New, new NAS new, new model with two band, four band. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we have another pick, uh, We have another topic. It's cost-effective NAS with a PCIe slot. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I think today we will introduce the a uh, new series for two bay and four bays mm -hmm. and besides that uh, since we are going to launch a newly product it's called a wireless uh, wireless ap uh, adapter, uh, card. adapter card mm -hmm. and uh, since it's through the pcie slot so mm -hmm. we will tell you more information about that and since jason is very very familiar with the new products and the new uh adapter mm -hmm. uh, the, the internet adapter card wireless mm -hmm. card so uh, once again we, we invite Jason to tell us more about uh, the details of the new products and our new wireless card. Welcome, hi. Jason. Hi, hi, Sam. Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to bring another new NAS series that's already a uh, very new product for mm -hmm. most of the markets mm -hmm. and also the upcoming uh, uh, QWA AC2600, the wireless adapter card to add the uh, AP function to the NAS. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. So today we will talk about first thing is that we will check on the, the outlook outfit of our new uh, NAS and then we will tell you what is the advantages of the NAS uh, compared to maybe uh, competitors, yeah, competitors yeah, same price, same price level. Yeah, yeah, why we are better and what is the selling point. So if you are a user, you can check this video and see why why you need to why why you can buy QNAP NAS. Mm -hmm instead of uh, the other brand and if you are a seller you can just get to know more about why selling to NAS is more profitable for you and then we will tell you the uh, technology and uh, the new uh, new things new uh, new technical things of our wireless card mm -hmm. and then we will tell you the application of it and then what kind of other applications that you can bundle with our uh, PCIe wireless card and uh, that's all so uh, let's get into the PowerPoint first. And we can check on the topic is TS253BE. Two bay. Yeah, and, and 453BE. Uh, four bay. And then we have the QWA AC2600. That mm -hmm. is our wireless uh, internet uh, adapter yeah. card. Yeah. So uh, why is called two, uh, uh, 2600 and what is advantage we will tell you more about it and today we will also show you how to install this card into our new uh, NAS mm -hmm. so uh, we will start from the first page is we will talk about the hardware yeah. mm -hmm. of the new NAS yeah please check so, okay so let me uh, give an introduction by telling you about uh, what's inside the NAS the mm -hmm. heart of the NAS so the, the NAS TS 53 BE series as uh, equipped with uh, the Intel Celeron processor. So it gives you a quad core processing power. The CPU is a uh, code name Apollo Lake processor, the generation mm -hmm. Apollo Lake. And uh, call, uh, the CPU skill is called J3455, mm -hmm. which gives you a, a 1.5 gigahertz the base frequency, mm -hmm. but it can automatically burst up to 2.3 gigahertz when needed. For example, mm -hmm. when the NAS is busy with a multiple clients con mm -hmm. connection, or with a BD text, then you can already boost up to 2.3 gigahertz. Okay. Okay. And uh, the about the memory design, we put in uh, two memory slots, mm -hmm. and both of them are so dim slots. So it's like a the notebook memory type of memory. Okay, okay. This, the shorter one. Okay. And the dual channel support, and as you can see here, it can support the maximum uh, spec of the DDR3 memory, 1866. So it's actually quite fast, mm -hmm. and we also ship with the fast memory. And you can upgrade it to up to eight gigabyte total. Mm -hmm. Even though, if you look at on the right hand side, the NAS with come with a two gigabyte uh, configuration, so it has a one of the two gigabyte installed. Mm -hmm. It gives you another empty slot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then an another model is uh, the dash four G skill, so you get a two of it, two gigabyte. Mm -hmm. But uh, like I said earlier, you can upgrade any time to a maximum of eight gigabyte memory. So both for two and for Bay NAS can upgrade to a gigabyte, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, also, you can see it's got HDMI. Also got those VMware ready. Those are uh, window works with the Windows Server, and then uh, also a big PCI expansion for more things, and which I'm gonna go through one by one. As I've known, the PCIe 
the ex expansion slot, I think it's not usually seen in the small, uh, like small bay. Company. Yeah, that's uh, one of the uniqueness of the, the NAS mm -hmm. because uh, we specific design this NAS. Uh, it's, you see, it's very compact on the decks mm -hmm. uh, for desktop usage, but also gives you a one PCI slot to expand. Okay, yeah. so we talk about this new model and we say it's affordable affordable one right yeah so uh i believe it's already uh, launched in the market yeah in most of the market it's already available so okay. and then more markets are coming soon okay mm -hmm. so i think uh you can just go maybe amazon or the other uh other platform yeah, to, to check for them. yeah to check these two models and you uh -huh. will see why we said it affordable yeah and then and very competitive yeah, against very the, competitive yeah, with the other brand mm -hmm. and then we will show you the face and the back of this NAS and then uh, we will tell you why we said we are more competitive than the other brand okay so let's take a look at the front side uh, on the mm -hmm. front side you will see that uh, we give you a removable cover mm -hmm. on the front mm -hmm. and then uh, we suppose a lockable design so mm -hmm. which means uh, you can lock the front cover so the hard drives will not be accidentally removed mm -hmm. by your kids. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very secure. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after you remove the cover, you will see that those hard drive trays, they are, they support hard swap. Mm -hmm. So when a hard drive breaks down mm -hmm. in the rate setup, you can easily remove the broken hard drive, replace it with a new hard drive, and then to let the rate rebuild okay. and synchronize. Okay. And then if you look at on the right hand side, uh, there will be the various uh, buttons and the uh, LED lights, for example, the power button on the top. Mm -hmm. And then also comes with an adjustable LED brightness mm -hmm. for the hard drive LEDs, uh, status, uh, LAN, the network ports and the USB. This means uh, it's particularly useful if you place the NAS, for example, near in the, in the living room, like when you're watching the movie. You know, you don't want a blinking okay. LED to affect your mood, right? That's when you're watching right. the movie, yeah. And or if you are sleeping, if it's somehow near in your bedroom, mm -hmm. then you can also actually with our QTS web user interface, you can actually set up a peer a schedule mm -hmm. to turn off the LEDs. Okay. Yeah, on uh, on the NAS, or you can adjust the different brightness level. So you can, for example, you can dim the LED brightness uh, at a certain level at the night. Okay. Yeah. I see. And then also, uh, even though this device does not uh, include uh, a remote control by default, mm -hmm. we still put in the uh, IR receiver. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually you can purchase additional uh, QNAP remote control mm -hmm. to work with it for music and video playback. Okay. And then below on the right hand side would be the USB 3.1 Gen 1, which is the same as the USB 3.0. Okay. So you can connect uh, USB drives and then use the one touch copy below mm -hmm. that to set up a automatic copy or manually trigger copy backup jobs. Okay. You can, with the USB ports, you can also connect uh, many, many different devices. And now we'll talk about it in the next slide okay. with the real multiple USB ports. Sure. So let's take a look at the back. As you can see, the IO is very abundant, plentiful. So it's very easy and also very useful for you to finish your many various texts. Mm -hmm. For example, on the top, it comes with a one PCI Gen 2 by 2 slot. Mm -hmm. So actually, uh, later I will tell you what kind of uh, PCI cards can be supported, okay, okay, to give more potential to the NAS. And then below that will be the two of the microphone inputs and the mm -hmm. one line out, which means you can just go to a, a Walmart or somewhere shop, local shop to buy a, a microphone, mm -hmm. connect the microphones. So two people, two microphones can be connected, which means okay. uh, two people can uh, sing it together. Because okay. uh, I think you, some of you already know we have a, a app called Ocean KTV. Mm -hmm. So you can just install the app uh, through the NAS app center and then connect the microphone HDMI to your TV or monitor. Okay. And then you can instantly uh, sing the song from YouTube. For sure. example, yeah, and then got dual HDMI 4K supported out, uh, output. I think this should be the first selling point, right? Uh, yes, yeah. If you look at the competitor, is basically they yeah. don't have uh, they don't have the HDMI port most of them. Yeah, so right. this is one of the things you can use to play the, for example, the video store on the NAS with our hybrid X station and the HD player. Can we tell them what kind of spec? If we compare these two specs together, then we will win. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, you will often find uh, other NAS they don't have HDMI ports at all. Like which? 
which model? Uh, the nine, S can we S say nine eighteen? <laughs> yeah, S can company is nine eighteen plus, and then for the four bay, and then two bay will be DS two eighteen plus. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can just go and check to see. Uh, then you'll find maybe we. Uh, you will find that we have something more, and this is just the first thing that we want you to know that we are better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So HDMI and the PCIe slot, okay, for expansion. Yeah. And then so uh, it, the HDMI port is actually also very good. Uh, as you know, QNAP has been a pioneer in the uh, NAS virtual, virtualization. Yeah. So through our virtual station, you can actually install a Windows virtual machine mm -hmm. or Linux virtual machine such as Ubuntu mm -hmm. on the NAS. So with the HDMI port, it, this comes very handy. So you can just connect the HDMI port to your, for example, a 22-inch monitor, mm -hmm. computer monitor. And then since we give you so many USB ports, you can connect additionally USB keyboard and mouse. Mm -hmm. And then you can output, you can display the virtual machine desktop on your monitor directly. Okay. Just like when you are using a PC. So mm -hmm. it's basically just a, a NAS, a storage device plus a PC, personal PC or private PC, two-in-one device. Okay. Very, very uh, useful and very, you can enhance, you can run your own uh, Windows applications on the NAS and also some uh, testing applications. Sure. Yeah. And then uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1, so 3.0 again, and two gigabit LAN ports, and it can, because this has got a quad-core processor, it can already saturate uh, the line rate of the two gigabit LAN ports, which means uh, 220 gigabyte, uh, 220 megabyte per second for mm -hmm. both upload and download. Okay. Yeah. And then on the right hand side, you will see it's got a, we actually put for all the QNAP NAS, we put a very high quality system fans mm -hmm. and they are spec is like a ball bearing. So it's longevity is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, on the two bay NAS, we, it has a seven centimeter fan. Mm -hmm. And then on the four bay, the, because uh, the chassis is bigger, so it allows it to put a bigger fan, mm -hmm. okay, 12 sure. centimeter for more silence. And then uh, another unique feature you will find on the QNAP NAS, uh, models is uh, a built-in speaker. Mm -hmm. So with a built-in speaker, not just uh, it's uh, quite loud, we also put in uh, Texas TI's, the Texas Instruments is amplifier to make it a uh, higher quality. Okay. And so what can you do with the built-in system speaker is that uh, uh, you can, for example, if you do, if you configure a NAS backup job, actually the NAS can tell you if the job, if the job is successful or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like by by how? It will announce you. Okay, the back job has been completed or has failed. Oh, it, something like that. So it's not just like B B B, and we go to check the system log. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. We are more advanced than that because it's twenty first century already. <laughs> okay, so this is a more convenient way for every of the user to find what is going on because uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's not very not very good if we hear some B beep sound and then we just go clicking or we log in and then we check the system log to see what is happening. Mm -hmm. So uh, there are two ways to make things more easier. One is to visualize yeah. and the other is to just give you what is it by the sound. Yeah. So uh, we have visualized yes. uh, system. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah. LEDs for the hard drives yeah. and LAN port. And then now we have audio system mm -hmm. to just to let you know what is going on. So with this uh, user might uh, lower the, ch uh, the the chance and the possibility to get into log in into the NAS and check what is going on, right? Yes. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so not only just for system reality events, you can also actually use it for uh, music playback if you mm -hmm. want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just uh, okay. as a kind of emergency or for store demos. Mm -hmm. And then so the last one, just a security slot for you to secure the physical uh, location of the NAS. Okay, so we have checked out the, uh, the, the front and the back of this new NAS. So now we're going to check what's inside. Yeah. So how can you install a hard drive? It's very easy. If you got a 3 point drive, you mm -hmm. just uh, remove the uh, the security uh, lock. parts, uh, lock, lock on parts. the side, side panels, mm -hmm. and then you put in the hard drive in it, mm -hmm. and then you put it back mm -hmm. on and both sides, down. then the NAS can be, the, the hard drive can be installed. You just mm -hmm. put the drive into the NAS, okay? Uh, what's more is that uh, we also provide additional screws for mm -hmm. you to secure the, the 3.5 inch drives if you want okay. to do that. Yeah. And then for 2.5 inch drives and SSDs, uh, we 
it will require you to remove uh, on one side of the panel mm -hmm. and then install the the drive with the screws. Okay. Yeah, it will require separate screws to do that. It's not always designed. Okay. And then how can you install a PCI card since it has a PCIe slot, right? Mm -hmm. Also very easy. The first step is that you remove the front cover, okay, from the okay. lock and then remove mm -hmm. the front cover. And then uh, you remove the screws on the back as shown on the second step. Mm -hmm. And the third step, you can just simply uh, remove the side cover by doing the front end of maybe about uh, two or three centimeters away. You can pull it apart. Mm -hmm. okay? And the first step is simply just to install the PCI card and then put it back together. Put the cover, cover back. So we will yeah. show you how to install the PCI card with this with the model, right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have just talked about uh, the easy to get started to mm -hmm. install the hard disk. And we have PCI slot. We yeah. have two 4K in, uh, HDMI output. Uh -huh. And that's our starting point. Yes. And then we will check on the next slide to see if we have more to, uh, to, to give you yeah. as a selling point. Yeah. So we, sorry, sorry, we have some little problem uh -huh. to our PowerPoint. So uh -huh. uh, I think we will go back to our uh, live, and then we will go back to our PowerPoint again. And okay. I will just right, I will just now trying to do some adjustment to see mm -hmm. if we can reopen the PowerPoint to make it more, uh, to make it back. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, we have this. Okay, great. So we are back online. Okay, with the PowerPoint. So uh, since the NAS has a, a PCI slot, you may wonder what kind of applications I can use and what kind of cards are supported mm -hmm. on the NAS, okay? Uh, here, the first one is a very unique QNAP QM, QM2 M.2 SSC and 10 GB network expansion cards. Uh, it's a very long, long name. <laughs> long name <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, it's just <laughs> an expansion card that brings you a faster speed. Yeah, yeah. It actually, it basically adds two additional M.2 SSD supports Mm -hmm. to the NAS mm -hmm. with this card and uh, it, it, you can choose either from M.2 SATA SSDs or from M.2 PCI NVMe SSDs mm -hmm. and the higher end model comes with another 10 gigabit port built in. Mm -hmm. okay. So with that you can set up a SSD cache mm -hmm. or you can do a QT auto tiering to speed up your performance. Okay. Yeah. And then another useful thing is that uh, you may see more and more vendors like for example from Sandix or mm -hmm. other uh, WD, other players, they start to release the SSD based external mm -hmm. drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, it comes with a Type C mm -hmm. and USB 3.1. So, with that, you can uh, install a QNAP uh, the USB 3.1 card. Mm -hmm. With that, you, got, you will get the USB 3.1 10 gigabit speed and then you can work. You can do a very, very fast high speed backup with those kind of SSDs. Okay. So, it's like more than 500 megabyte per second mm -hmm. with those uh, 3.1. And then, uh, of course, the, the last one is uh, our uh, the main, main, main item later today is the dual band, dual concurrent, mm -hmm. uh, two point four gigahertz and five gigahertz uh, wireless card. That will give you. They will add the AP function to the NAS. Mm -hmm. So from this slide, basically, I think we are just to uh, we are just to making mm -hmm. uh, our users to have a more faster speed while data transaction, right? Yes. Basically more convenient and more faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will check for the next slide to see how fast and uh, how convenient it could be. Yeah, so if you have installed a 10 gigabit card on the NAS, mm -hmm. because uh, if you compare other models of the same price in the market, mm -hmm. basically they are they are limited by the building gigabit okay. ports. So the maximum is like 2 port, 220 megabyte, mm -hmm. okay? So how can you reach the maximum potential, which is uh, to install a 10 gigabit card on the mm -hmm. NAS itself? So as you can see, based on our test, if you install a dual port 10 gigabit card mm -hmm. on the NAS mm -hmm. with a SSD plus, for example, connection, and you have a two clients concurrently upload and download to the NAS, mm -hmm. then you can get a 600 megabyte per second with the device. Okay. okay. Cool. And here on the right, it shows you what kind of uh, experience cards are supported on the device, such as uh, the SSD plus uh, interface, mm -hmm. uh, which is um, com more commonly found in the database centers. Yes. And then the 10, gig 10 gig gigabit base T, mm -hmm. which is the RJ45 connect connection. Mm -hmm. So this one was, for example, one from q 2 and then one from our uh, existing the uh, 10 g base T card. Okay. And QNEVA also just launched the brand new 10 g card called the QXG-10G1T. Mm -hmm. yeah. That not just gives you only the 10 gigabit speed, but mm -hmm. also the, with the support of a 5G, and 2.5G 
and gigabit. Yeah. So it's like five speed support for the brand new card. Yeah, we have uh, another video about the 10 giga. Yeah, 10 giga a few line. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah about weeks, that. Like uh -huh. uh, one, one month ago. So uh -huh. if you're interested in it, you can just go and check um, our channel. So don't forget to subscribe our channel yeah. and you'll see more. Uh -huh. And then for the next, we will tell you another thing that mm, we can also set is our uh, advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that is more related to some yeah, music, home music lovers yeah. and home users. So mm -hmm. we will check on that. Yeah. So here's uh, the unique features for the multimedia usage mm -hmm. on the QLED NAS. Here you can see that with the 53 BE series, not mm -hmm. only has a HDMI certified uh, dual HDMI ports mm -hmm. up to 4K 30 mm -hmm. Hz, mm -hmm. and also optional remote control can be supported. So mm -hmm. once you purchase the remote control, then to work with a NAS, you can install an app called Cube Button. Okay. So with Cube Button, you can configure because if you look at remote control, so it's a bit small here, but actually it's got a four color buttons okay. on the remote control. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the four color buttons, you can actually set up a shortcut mm -hmm. to instantly open up the app or do some action. Mm -hmm. For example, you can um, set up button. The red button, for example, it will open up the uh, surveillance station on the TV mm -hmm. and then show you the current live video from your uh, wireless camera. Okay. And you can also press another button to open up the music station to mm -hmm. play the music mm -hmm. through the line out to your speaker mm -hmm. or through the HDMI audio mm -hmm. to instantly play your favorite uh, music playlist. Mm -hmm. Or you can set up another button to restart the NAS. Okay. Okay. And it integrate speaker already mentioned earlier yeah. as with that yeah, and another thing yeah and another thing that the user may find the most useful is the transcoding support yes so with this device you can support up to two channel concurrent h264 and h265 8 bit okay yeah. 8 bit 10 bit is not supported because of the uh, chipset limitation mm -hmm. but 8 bit is okay so two channel concurrent transcoding is supported yes and as far as the uh, Tran uh, offline transcoding goes uh, with our interface you can just add with our interface for example on the file station you can just keep adding more and more of your videos manually and then they will be put in the trans transcoding queue and then our software will use the uh, both a mix of uh, hardware acceleration and also software uh, software transcoding to process your multiple text okay. so just name it to it is not just limited to two clients only. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's worthy to mention that for H.264 and 265, mm -hmm. which is more being used in the surveillance system. So mm -hmm. if you are choosing the IP camera as your own surveillance system, I think that you can also take our NAS to be one of your storage system. Maybe you can just take it as an MBR. You don't have to purchase another one. So you can store your data while store your recording uh, videos into the NAS. Yeah. Okay. And with the HDMI support, you can actually also output the, the surveillance through HDMI yeah. and use it like a similar to a DVR. You can watch your live re, uh, live view and also play back your recording with yeah. HDMI and uh, USB keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, QNAP also released a, a wonderful feature app called uh, Cinema 28. Okay. So with that, uh, we allow you to, because in the past, uh, when or if you are using another computer's device, you will mm -hmm. see that uh, it, if you have a smart TV, you have to use the clumsy TV interface to mm -hmm. navigate to find the a network uh, device, a network mm -hmm. server, mm -hmm. and then browse through the different uh, uh, media mm -hmm. store on the NAS, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is not very user friendly and sometimes it can be a bit slow, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but with our Cinema 28, we put you in control. Mm -hmm. So with its own web user interface, you can actually discover the multiple uh, streaming devices mm -hmm. such as uh, Apple TV, mm -hmm. Google Chromecast, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, AirPlay supported devices like uh, wireless, wireless audio, mm -hmm. uh, Bluetooth, and even the NAS, its own uh, HDMI output mm -hmm. can be supported for streaming. Okay. So basically on the interface, your web interface, then you just uh, drag and drop the different uh, music or video or even photo mm -hmm. to a specific uh, device, and then that device will just listen to you. Okay. Then you will play that item directly. Well, basically, uh, if you still don't understand how to make it work, you can just go to our app center and download the Cinema 28 and mm -hmm. try it for yourself. You'll know how convenient it could be. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. after we talk about the third 
of the selling point and advantage of our TS453BE mm -hmm. and the two base 253BE. And then we were gonna tell you, uh, basically it's a four bay and two bay okay. NAS. Mm -hmm. So what is or what could be happen if I if I think the storage capacity is mm -hmm. not enough? Yeah, uh, because uh, we all know the maximum uh, it can take it just four hard drives mm -hmm. right on this uh, series. But don't worry about it. Uh, at any time, you can expand the NAS capacity with uh, several technologies. Mm -hmm. The simplest way is to uh, replace the hard drives one by one with a bigger capacity yes. drives. And then QNAP also offers, for example, virtual J bar. Mm -hmm. So this allows you to configure uh, unused space on another different NAS through the network. Yeah. So the, our this uh, master NAS can actually connect to the other NAS the space and then connect together to use its own storage space for mm -hmm. creating shared folders and for storage. Mm -hmm. And not just not just through one gigabit connection, but since I mentioned earlier, this device has a PCI expansion slot. Yes. So you can install a one port 10 gigabit card mm -hmm. and then create a very fast 10 gigabit connection to do a quick back uh, expansion or like uh, for example, when you back out a job to that the remote area, it's very, very fast. Okay. okay? Or you can choose a more traditional way, which is our USB uh, based uh, the expansion unit. Mm -hmm. So it's a UX, the 8 bay UX 800P or the mm -hmm. 5 bay 500P. Mm -hmm. And what's more wonderful about it is that you can use both concurrently. You oh. don't have to just choose either one. You can use, connect them both. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. So yeah. after we tell you all about uh, our new uh, new new 453BE mm -hmm. and then we just talk about uh, the wireless connection uh, PCIe connection mm -hmm. card right yeah and since the 453 and 253 it owns a uh, one PCIe slot mm -hmm. so we we're gonna check on what PCIe devices that we can choose to mm -hmm. install on the uh, the NAS yes uh, so here let's give you an overview of uh, various accessories that are supportive on the 53 mm -hmm. BE, so mm -hmm. of course you have the expansion units, a bay and three, uh, five bay mm -hmm. with USB 3.0, mm -hmm. and then the memory expansion modules, mm -hmm. and then the various PCI cards, including the USB and the 10 gigabit and gigabit NICs yeah. and QM2, mm -hmm. and also the M.2 to go with the QM2, okay, and those yeah. SATA SSDs. And what's more important is that uh, the upcoming, there are two different devices on the middle right, mm -hmm. which is the QWA AC2600 wireless adapter mm -hmm. for the AP function. Mm -hmm. And then another one next to it is a US QWA AC1900U, mm -hmm. which is a USB 3.0 based uh, USB client adapter. Mm -hmm. So if, when you install this adapter to a USB port on the NAS, we will allow you to connect the NAS to a wireless uh, router, for example, or wireless access point to get out, to get wireless access. So uh, this card is not published yet. Uh, no, but they are coming soon. But okay. I have it on my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so See, this is, this is our new. Today. Yeah, yes. this is the preview of our new adapter wireless card, mm -hmm. and it's pretty small. You see, yeah. it's smaller than my hand. And only and a fight. Yeah, and uh, we were gonna show you what is advantage and the hardware technology about this card, and then we were gonna tell you how you can bundle this card with our NAS, and then we think. Okay, we just go to the next slide and yeah. we, we check on the the QWA AC twenty six twenty six zero zero. Yeah, why it's called like two six zero zero and uh, what's inside? What's no not inside? What is under? The fan and under this, I think is his string, right? Yeah, he think under there. Yeah, he think uh, it was he works under there. Okay, so mm -hmm. Jason, please tell us what is good about this. Okay, this is gave you an overview of the entire car mm -hmm. itself. So starting from the top left, mm -hmm. you will see uh, we gives you uh, four detachable uh, uh, connectors. Mm -hmm. So basically, you it works by default. It works without included the uh, uh, quad antenna base. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you can actually. Uh, replace it with your own. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, we make this card as a low profile mm -hmm. card, so it can work with more most of the QNAP uh, NAS models mm -hmm. with a PCIe slot. But as I've known that these two also come with the the the, the card, right? Yes. Yeah. We give you uh, we totally we give you three different brackets mm -hmm. that can work with all the QNAP NAS. Yeah. So one is the flat one here. You see the flat one for the fifty three B series. 
But you have a, if you have a different NAS model, such as a bigger desktop or a yeah. rack mount, you can yeah. change the bracket easily with just yeah. two screws. Yeah, so three types and it comes in one package. In one, in the same page, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. so you don't have to worry about the size. Yeah. And then also it uses the same great uh, cool, uh, cooling heat sink and the mm -hmm. smart fan from the QN2 cards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So actually it automatically monitors the IC mm -hmm. on the board and mm -hmm. also just the fan speed. Okay, yeah. good. So it allows maintains a good performance. Okay. And uh, with the PCI connection, uh, it's Gen two by one, so you get a, a, a maximum five hundred megabyte per second for the transfer speed. Okay. Yeah. So this is not only about the whole products, right? We have another part. Yeah. So besides the car, we also mm -hmm. include the detachable detachable antenna mm -hmm. in the package. So with this, uh, we give you a longer. Uh, what antenna cables? Mm -hmm. Eighty centimeters. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, yeah. See how you, you know, if you, you, I think you all have the same experience like in, like I did. Is that uh, you know when you reach on your laptop when you try to find a better yeah. signal, you Wi-Fi signal, you want you sometimes you will move your your desk your laptop or desktop around mm -hmm. with the antenna or the built-in or external one. Yeah. So we find this this is a quite. Uh, mm, uh, happened case yeah so that's why we include a longer cable so you can place it in a, a long long uh, longer area yeah mm -hmm. and somehow i can even change the place i put it yes yeah, antenna, right? yeah you can adjust the different angles and and i'll talk more about uh, what kind of benefits you can get yeah let's go back mm -hmm. to our slide thank you mm -hmm. okay so besides the the longer than usual the cable length but mm -hmm. also we give you the removable design. Mm -hmm. So by default, we include the 45 DBI antennas, okay. and you can actually change it to a different one, such as a directional antenna or mm -hmm. the bigger antenna, mm -hmm. such as 9 DBI, something mm -hmm. like that. Okay. okay. So not just the antenna design, but mm -hmm. also we make it so convenient that you can actually mount the mm -hmm. antenna base anywhere in the Near, in your environment. For mm -hmm. example, we support the wall mount and mm -hmm. also the magnetic mount. Okay. And then let's switch to the live view. We can see, do a quick demo and show you what it is. Okay, so we can see the wall mount. Yeah, the wall mount there. So we you have can place two. it on the wall mount. Call it for me. And then ah, also magnetic I design. Have this one. We, it looks like an iron man. Check. Yeah, yeah, see? It's not. Oh, it's tight. Quite, quite it's, secure, so it's you. It's kind of tight. Yeah. yeah. And okay, I found a way to mm -hmm. take it back. Like a Spider Man, right? Yeah, so it's a mechanical design, so you can actually uh, work with your assist. Maybe most of your office environment already support the kind of mechanical uh, boards. So you yeah. can actually easily place it on the wall, on the top ceiling, or on the wall. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have a wall that you can screw okay. in, you can just use the wall mount, mount right? Yeah. But if you cannot, you can just. Play right, right a place that is made by iron or even we can just buy some iron stick to stick mm -hmm. at the back and then the other side we just stick on the wall and yeah. then it will still work exactly it'll still work yeah so let's uh, switch back to the slides yeah. mm -hmm. thank you so these two are the the whole parts right yeah. like we have one of mm -hmm. these to insert into the uh, the NAS and mm -hmm. then the other is the extension part like yeah, we can just connect, connect it to the, board. the connectors yeah and then we, we we can just put the antenna anywhere we yes. want. okay uh -huh. good yeah. so now let's get to the, the what's chip inside so mm -hmm. we we employ the Qualcomm QCA 9984 wireless NIC mm -hmm. onto the device mm -hmm. and so it's supposed to basically a quite high 4x4 multi user MIMO support mm -hmm. which means uh, uh, when you have a multiple devices connected to the same wireless network, mm -hmm. it will it will not slow down because mm -hmm. with with the other technology, the single user, you will actually have to wait for the signal transmission before yes. sending to the next one. But with this, uh, you can guarantee you have the best performance on the on the card. Okay. And also, suppose L two eleven AC Web two for the highest uh the higher speed, mm -hmm. and also compatible with the older Wi Fi technology such as eleven N and then the a, B, these older ones. Okay. So the two CPU is under the heatsink, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So the way why we say it's a dual band, dual concurrent is that uh, actually on the card we have a uh, two Qualcomm ICs mm -hmm. here. That's why so it can emit uh, both five gig and the two point four two point four gig uh, network 
mm-hmm. uh, signals concurrently, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, which is a very unique as a wireless card. Basically, okay. it's very similar how a wireless router works. You know, mm-hmm. basically, if you buy a router, then you will see both the the, the 2.5, 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz sure. signals. Yeah. So with the performance, you can, for example, on the L211 AC, on this one, you can get up to uh, 70, 33 megabit per second. Mm-hmm. And then with 11N, up to 800. And this also solves the mystery why our product name is called AC2600. Because mm-hmm. if, you add them, if you add them up together, it's about 2600. It's, yeah, it's pretty yeah. much like 26. So that's why also this is uh, commonly uh, used in the industry, in the wireless industry. And that's also okay. why we name it with AC, AC2600. Okay, so mm-hmm. now we know the advantage and how, uh, I can, maybe I can say how good to use this one. Yeah. And uh, is, the, is is it only uh, this model can support the PCI slot? And uh, since I already have a NAS in my house and yeah. I just connect it into my internet router, why do I still need another wireless PCI card? I just don't get it. So yeah. uh, first, Jason will tell us what are the other models that can support the PCI slot with mm-hmm. not only this wireless card, but yeah. all the other external devices we just mentioned yes. on the previous slides. Yeah. So uh, if you use, if you have a, on a Intel or AMD based NAS, we call x86 based NAS, then you may know that we have released a wireless AP station, mm-hmm. the app to work with uh, the wireless card. Mm-hmm. And then but uh, uh, in the next QTS release, 4.3.5, mm-hmm. we will also enable the support for the ARM-based NAS, such mm-hmm. as uh, 531X, mm-hmm. A31X, mm-hmm. and uh, 31X with the RecBound models. And uh, so if you own an ARM-based NAS, that's for into that category, you will also soon be able to use it. Don't mm-hmm. worry about it. Mm-hmm. So you may think that, uh, mm, can I only install just one card on the, on the NAS? Probably if I have a multiple PCI slots because uh, maybe I can use more. <laughs> yeah, definitely. We we don't limit just to one because uh, uh, sometimes uh, you may have uh, many many wireless devices you want to connect or you want to create a separate private network wireless networks. Mm-hmm. And then if your NAS has a multiple PCI slots, which mm-hmm. is uh, commonly found in the middle and to high end QNAS NAS models, yeah. then actually you can easily you know at any time. For example, today you can just buy one card, install it to create one the network, mm-hmm. and then you can when you when your wireless capacity the bandwidth runs out, you can actually add another one oh. to the NAS to create a second wireless network. Okay, yeah, 5G and 2.5G, so actually two plus two. Okay, yeah, because we have a power in that process. Yeah, so we call it expandable wireless function. Okay. Cool. And also, you may think, uh, okay, I have a router already, wireless router already. How come I need uh, this function? I, how come I need to buy this car and then the wireless AP station function? I think we will just talk, talk about this later and we will show all our viewers how to install these cards first. So. Yeah, yeah. So let's mm-hmm. try to uh, install this card first with a live demo mm-hmm. and then we'll show you the benefits of it. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. check on this 453BE. See, right. it's the face right here. It's yeah. very good. So I have the TS uh, 453, a four bay model, and you yeah. will see why I choose it for a reason. <laughs> it's black, and black is the next fashion for our generation. So first, uh, you want to remove the uh, front cover here. Okay, yeah. take it apart. And then on the back, you will want to remove the screws and also the screws that host the PCI, PCI. Uh, bracket. Okay. PCI slot. Okay. So I remove the in the lens. So once you remove all the screws, then you can take out the uh, the cover, Very the side easy. cover, just and then take it apart here. Mm-hmm. Then you see you will have uh, access to the PCI slot. Mm-hmm. Now on the four bay NAS, uh, you will see there's a speaker here mm-hmm. so you will on the two four five three be you will need to remove the two screws here to hold the speaker mm-hmm. and then just take the speaker a little bit out of the way mm-hmm. okay try to remove it sorry okay oh you are okay. a bit difficult to remove that. <laughs> It just like got stuck a little bit. Okay. Once you remove that, then I can install the PCI card to it. Okay. Just like this card. Uh, don't. Uh, it will install the antenna after you install the card. Okay. Just make sure the card is installed. 
Okay, so now car is installed, and then everything now just uh, put it back to the location and screw the drive the screws yeah. back. Okay, and, and secure then, the bracket. And then we can and just then, install the antenna. Yeah, but we're not, the antenna later. Yeah, but okay. we're not gonna do it yeah. right now. And so, now keep in mind, if you have a two two bay, the two five three be, mm -hmm. you don't need to uh, remove the, remove speaker, the right? speaker. Yeah, because uh, it's a different location, so you can just install the car directly. It makes it much yeah. more easier. Okay? It's very easy. I think if you have a screwdriver, mm -hmm. it should be done in like five uh, five minutes. Yeah, less five minutes. Yeah, easy. very easy to okay. upgrade your system. So we go back mm -hmm. to the slides. And then after we see how to uh, install this card, and then we will talk about like how to set this card. Uh, is that really uh, complicated for for any of our users? Can you just tell us? No, yeah, it's very easy. So uh, how come uh, after you just install uh, the hardware, you need the software to make it work, mm -hmm. right? So basically, you just go to the QTS App Center. Mm -hmm. and then look for the wireless app station mm -hmm. then you will install the required uh, apps such as the container station mm -hmm. before it and then app station mm -hmm. and then once that after you install it you can start to configure your wireless access point mm -hmm. so one benefit is that uh, so for example you are in an area that, that only has a, a, a length a cable connection mm -hmm. but you are you have another room mm -hmm. or area that the cables cannot go because mm -hmm. maybe it's an old building, you mm -hmm. cannot wire the cable, okay. or you can in uh, some difficult uh, area to reach. Okay. Then, in the first room, you can just install a QNAM NAS, mm -hmm. right? And then install this card with the AP station, and then mm -hmm. you can create a wireless connection. Mm -hmm. So the the clients on the other room, the second room, they can actually start to uh, connect to your existing network with the wireless connection. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, so basically it extends your current network connectivity mm -hmm. to an area that cannot be easily reached by the local LAN cable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, after we check how to, uh, what is the system structure, I think we can bring some applications to our viewers, right? Yes. <clears throat> Yeah, so another feature besides extending the existing network is that uh, actually you can build your own private mm -hmm. wireless network that's really, really secure mm -hmm. just between the NAS and the mobile devices. And not just mobile devices, it can be, for example, IP cameras and any other uh, client devices. Mm -hmm. So again, likewise, you install the IP station and then you set up the DHCP server and NAT server function. An IT function in the, our network virtual switch mm -hmm. to get your own private secure network connection. Okay. And in the previous, uh, and earlier you asked, uh, how come, I mean, I already have a wireless router at home, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, why should I use this feature? Yeah, why? Right? Because uh, if you look at the uh, current, uh, the routers in the market, mm -hmm. like uh, 100, 200 US dollars routers, mm -hmm. if you look at the CPU spec, it's like a arm um, dual core 1.4 mm -hmm. gigahertz mm -hmm. right but if so if there are more clients coming into the router then the performance may be that may oh. be a bottle, bottleneck right because the cpu may not be able to handle so many clients yes and also if you look at their memory mm -hmm. most of the routers in the market memory is only about like a 64 megabyte 128 megabyte mm -hmm. on average but if you install this card on a NAS, look at the 53BE spec. CPU is it has the Intel quad-core processor, 1.5 gigahertz, whereas the memory starts at two gigabyte, mm -hmm. two gigabytes. You can expand to eight. So it's a much, much more powerful machine than those average routers you can get in the market, okay. right? So it's actually uh, can support more clients uh, concurrent connection. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the advantages. Okay, and then another thing is I mentioned earlier, you can expand your wireless connections by insta installing multiple cards. Yes. Okay, on the different device, different NAS models. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So once you have built up your own private networks, there are some scenarios that uh, you can you can uh, apply. For example, one of them is uh, you you can install a QNAP QRT suite light on the NAS. And then so it allows you to connect to various uh, IoT developer boards mm -hmm. and also IoT sensors. Mm -hmm. So which means that all the multiple connections can be connected to this wireless network. So it maximizes your the number of connections. Basically, um, all the different IoT devices can connect to the same network, whether mm -hmm. it's a 2.4G or 5G, you get mm -hmm. the best performance. Yes. 
And if you have an IoT device, and then I take it as an alpha bot here with mm -hmm. a companion robot, whereas, uh, you know, you, one of the key features is to do a smart video calling mm -hmm. because the video may take us a takes up more bandwidth. Yes. So with this, you can create its own dedicated uh, bandwidth to the NAS, mm -hmm. right? So the alpha bot can connect to the NAS directly to get its own uh, video streaming bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, two scenarios that's uh, useful for the AP station. Okay, for the viewers who doesn't know what is Apple Bot, we uh, have another video in our channel, so mm -hmm. you can just subscribe our channel and go to check what is Apple Bot. Yeah. Basically, Apple Bot is a newly launched product mm -hmm. of uh, of QNAP, yeah. and this is what you can see here in the slides. It looks like a cute robot, yeah. and you can use it to uh, call the other person who had this robot, mm -hmm. or they have the app application on Android yeah. phone, right? Yes. Also, you can just call it by its name and then tell him that I want to see YouTube or I call yeah. who for me or like whatever, like take a picture for me. Yeah, yeah very convenient mm -hmm. and very uh, high technology products. So you can just go and check on our other video and see what's more about what is Apple bot. Sure, so, exactly. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we have these two applications, but mm -hmm. I think something just came into my mind that Maybe I can do something more uh, for the wireless AP card mm -hmm. and then with our 453 because I think we just mentioned about H265, yeah. uh, 264 yeah. and 265, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, every time we talk about this codec, I will think about surveillance system because mm -hmm. this is very connected together. So I'm thinking if we can just use the uh, private internet uh, area and separate it with the uh, internet area. Mm -hmm. Can we just make it separated and maybe I can just record and storage my own IP camera mm -hmm. video clips into my NAS? Yeah, yeah. so here comes the scenario number two. Okay. So basically it allows you to set up your private, uh, very secure surveillance mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. So basically you connect the wireless cameras to your uh, wireless network mm -hmm. created by the wireless AP station mm -hmm. and the wireless card. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with our QNAP QBR Pro, mm -hmm. you can set up the recordings, mm -hmm. okay? And then later on you can use our QBR Pro client to mm -hmm. review your uh, recorded footage. Mm -hmm. And then so this means uh, it's, uh, it's not, it's your own, you know, it's not connected to the internet. And mm -hmm. then you can actually, only when you are in the building, you have access to the uh, recorded video. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, for the resellers and the sellers and the users for our NAS, here's one thing you need to get to know, like last year, uh, the beginning of last year, here is a very big disaster in the surveillance system field because uh, a lot of the brands has been uh, hacked in. So, uh, Mm, all of the users are uh, in a very chaos. No. So uh, that is why um, uh, we didn't separate the internet environment for uh, for private and the public. Mm -hmm. So if for now, uh, if you, you can just tell your customer or if you are just a user that is using IP system and surveillance system, uh, you can just change your way to set up all the structure like, or you can just tell your customer like, you can use the NAS and then compare with another uh, wireless AP card to create your own internet environment to prevent your system to be hacked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for the other part of the NAS, you can just still connect it onto the internet and you yeah. can just, oh, you can always store anything you want and uh -huh. upload, download. It's very easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. So storage. this can also be a selling point. Mm -hmm. So basically I think all of our sellers, if they are selling us, mm -hmm. they are selling mm -hmm. something about internet. Mm -hmm. Since they are selling something about the internet, they will sell IP camera, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so mm -hmm. this is very important. Don't forget to create your own profit with our products. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have scenario one and we have scenario two, then mm -hmm. we can create a more, uh, a bigger bandwidth yeah. and we can create a more complex uh, environment structure yeah. and we can use it to save, to protect our own uh, surveillance recording data. Mm -hmm. So, is, is it very hard to set everything, like to set this card? Oh, it's very easy. So let me tell you how easy it is. So like I said, go to mm -hmm. App Center, install a wireless AP station, mm -hmm. and step one is you click on the Add Access Point, mm -hmm. and then after that, then you have a cho you want to choose a card mm -hmm. that you want to use to set up the wireless 
SSID, and then you're done. You enter the SSID name and password, you're done. And okay. uh, after that, uh, you to refer to the camera, secure mm -hmm. camera surveillance mm -hmm. environment scenario. Mm -hmm. This is this picture shows you uh, how how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, uh, with a QNAP uh, network and virtual switch app. Mm -hmm. You basically create uh, your own, own private network with a DHCP server mm -hmm. and the NAT function enabled. Mm -hmm. So here example, it shows you, uh, you can bind those, uh, the adapter one on the TS53BE, mm -hmm. and then with the wireless card, the, those two adapters, you can bind them together. Mm -hmm. So for example, the host will be the, the main, main access gateway will be the virtual switch one mm -hmm. here. And then on wireless AP, it, the wireless network call we call it. I said it as a QBR Pro mm -hmm. there, and then with a security encryption call with a WPA2, mm -hmm. and then any client devices connected to this uh, wireless network will be assigned IP an IP address. Mm -hmm. For example, here you will see a, a wireless IP camera gets a ten dot zero dot zero dot two IP address. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then on your other device, whether it's a, a, a laptop, you know, connect to the wireless network, mm -hmm. or you can also connect uh, with uh, the NAS port number, then port number one, mm -hmm. you can actually connect it to uh, a desktop mm -hmm. computer. Mm -hmm. And then it will be, the desktop computer will be assigned another IP, mm -hmm. private IP called the uh, 10.0.0.3. Mm -hmm. And you can install our QBR Pro client on your computer mm -hmm. to do a internal close network uh, viewing. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, just from a private secure network. Okay, I yeah. see. So it gives you a whole picture of how, it, how, how the setup looks like. Okay. So now let's uh, switch to the QTS view and then I will just show you, let you get a feeling how it actually looks like. Okay. okay, show me. So here uh, I have a NAS that's, uh, I have a TS53B installed mm -hmm. with the wireless card mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I click on the access point mm -hmm. and then it will ask you to select the network card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here, drop down menu. Like I said, the cards dual band, dual concurrent, yeah. right? Yeah. So even though if you, you just install a card, but actually you see the two adapters. Yes. Okay. So now if I want to click, a, a, I want to, create a 5G network. I just select the first one, mm -hmm. 5G. Okay. And then I will click the next. Okay. And here you can assign it a, 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 name. a name. SSID, right? A name and okay. SSID. I select, for example, 5G test. Okay. And then you will set up a, a password. Okay. By default, it is WPA2. So you just okay. enter the password you want. I will use uh, the very simple one. That can be easily hacked. Anyway. Yeah, it's a very bad example. Don't, <laughs> yes, don't, don't no. use it. Okay. Don't use it in your home. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now after that, you get a summary of the, your settings and click save. Okay. After that, you will just start to create a, a new access point. Okay. Uh, on the NAS. Okay? okay. So once you have uh, created the NAS, here I'm gonna switch to another device that show you the same another example that's already been set up. Mm -hmm. So here I have a virtual switch here and then. I buy both the AP and the adapter here. So here in the wireless AP station, see if if the one this is the one I already set up here with the QBR Pro wireless SSID. Mm -hmm. And then here you will see that uh, actually there's one device already connected mm. to this wireless network, and it's actually a wireless camera. Okay. Okay. You will see the it's a MAC address, mm -hmm. and then how much data has been has been uploaded or okay. downloaded. And then the number, the, the time of the connect, the connection Coming time, in, right? And the, the signal, signal and IP address. Thing. Okay. So here I just show you the QBR for client actually. Yeah, it's <laughs> us. Yeah. So it actually uh, connect to our AP there mm -hmm. to to this wireless AP for your own private network. Okay. So basically, we can just use one NAS, one PCIe, and uh, wireless AP card. Yeah. To create our own internet environment for our IP camera. Yeah, and uh, you can choose a. Uh, Either you want to create a 5G network mm -hmm. or a 2.4G network. Mm -hmm. Depends on your the client's uh, wireless capability. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that is good. So yeah. I have nothing to say about this because I think it's already satisfied all the demands I need. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, so uh, okay. let's go back to our slides. Uh, or maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Oops, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. So after we check all the details and the selling point, like mm -hmm. for our NAS, basically that is a, a two bay and four bay, but with mm -hmm. PCIe slot, PCI slot and then two HDMI 4K okay. output. Yes. And then uh, what else do we have? 
Uh, with a remote control and yeah, also a speaker, speaker for a very smart announcement yeah. system alerts and also audio playback. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the other is for our uh, where is my card? Oh, actually, it's in the NAS already, so oh, it's okay. okay. And for that new card, it will be uh, released Second, maybe yeah. maybe next uh, month. Yeah, or... sometime in April. You should see our announcement. Yeah, so you will see in April. With this card, you can just upgrade your uh, internet system uh, and make it more convenient uh -huh. if you want to have your own private internet uh, environment yes. or maybe you can just uh, use it to have a more easier way to reach your internet into any corner that you could not have reached before mm -hmm. so uh, uh, this is our new products TS uh, X53BE series. Two bay, yeah, 2 bay and 4 bay. Models. Yeah, 2 bay and 4 bay, and it's very easy to uh, expansion, right? Yes. We can use the uh, expansion unit and yeah. we can just use virtual JBOD with another NAS yes. that already exists. 10 gigabit card. Yeah, 10 gigabit card. So uh, that is all for our new uh, product. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. our new card and our new uh, product. So if you like our video, uh, please give us a, a like or subscribe our video, and uh, we will have uh, we will have more and more things to share with you. Like what is our new hardware, what is our new software, mm -hmm. and uh, for people who like Jason, you just keep following our channel, and you will see Jason next time. Possibly, possible. <laughs> I need <Yeah>. more fans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, this is what we have all for today. So thank you for your watching and uh, QNF live show. We'll see you next time. Thank, thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.